what's going on another latest and greatest from the religion of racist pieces for my parents birth country bangladesh yes to my fellow bengalis kita koro kemonasen muslim attacks on hindus continue madrasa students declare prophet ibrahim the father of nation prophet ibrahim don't belong in bangladesh sorry to say that so let me go ahead and zoom out let me let's see if i still got my bengali skills it says jatir pita Hajrat, Ibrahim, something. So Jatir, I guess that's what it is. The father of nation. See what these Islamists try to do. You remove the statue that brought freedom. These Islamists, I tell you, these people just been in disguise to cause, cause havoc. Honestly, Bangladesh should just go back to being a state part of India. You form two states. Pakistan's already failure. Sheikh Hasina, more of a secularist mindset, though she was a Muslim, but she, you know, in this weird, twisted politics, uh, would do more to protect the minorities, even though there has been some other issues i guess it has something to do with making sure the other muslims stay happy and that's what makes it so complicated how can islamists fight for democracy but what specific democracy they want sharia you care about the other minority religion the economy was getting better that all of a sudden this kind of stuff happens but uh let's see Let's go on and see what's going on over there with the recent attack. Attacks on Hindus. Police at the mercy of Jamaat. Prophet Ibrahim as new father of nation by these Jamaati Islamists. And these people are trying to creep up using the BMP party. How Bangladesh is heading towards becoming an Islamist state. You do not want to go there, Bangladesh. I already lost a lot of respect with half of these people that don't want to conversate. They get on high emotion, just talking smack against other people, different parties, different thinking. Then how can you say you want a democracy when you can't handle the root issue? Just because you're stuck on your ideal, that your identity is a, is a Muslim. Well, listen here. Islam doesn't belong in the Bengal region nor the Indian region. You know, I'd rather let it be a Hindu running with Hindu running it, where at least the Christians will still live. Yes, I'm aware of other persecuted areas, but not, nothing compares to what Islam has done worldwide, where they won't hesitate to do a full scale genocide on anyone. Let's continue on. So it's coming from out of OP India News, August 10th. The facade of a pro-democracy, anti-government protest. So it's a tricky one with these protests, man. These people will fight over anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure many of the news students, because I am hearing stories over there um, that I still have connects with. You do have some new generation youth asking questions, asking questions, even their own faith. I mean, come on. You don't think we're aware that you guys try to murder those that left Islam? open-minded vloggers, even those that became atheists, who are you to go around and underlife people? Who are you the one to think that you can cast judgment when this is in, this is God's hand? Because once Christ came, what he did have to do, everything is based on walking in love, praying for them. So every time you want to bring up anything about uh, the laws back in those days during Israel's time, hey, God, had a direct connect at the time with them, using them uh, for his purpose. And every time they mess up, judgment came on them. Judgment is happening all around, even though you may not, you may like it, 
or you don't like it. But if you don't check your own attitude, what you were taught, then I don't know what to say. Or if you're one of those keep pushing away and then you still want to get mad at the other, mad at, mad at the world, that everyone's being Islamophobe, then it's your fault not doing your homework when giving you the warning. The targeted attacks on the Hindu community. Let me see if let me make sure I zoom in a little bit more. The targets attack on the Hindu community couple with con, uh, considered attempts to push Bangladesh further into the jaws of Islamism have exposed the nefarious designs of the Bangladesh National Party, BMP, and Jamaat Islami. Shame on you, BMP, partnering with these scumbags. You know, what can I say? Part of, you're in the same coin, no matter what kind of name you use. You try to make this Islamic state when the Hindus were the majority of the people fighting in the freedom? Yes, I'm aware some Muslims were killed. I know about it. But you, you are aware of the history that many of the Hindus fought. You are aware that India is the one that came aiding, helping you. And then you want to cry about how much you hate them. Oh, I, or I, got, I hear some other arguments. Well, I appreciate the help, but Bangladesh is Bangladesh's um, issues. We can handle it from there. Screw you. Screw you. Maybe they should just annex back to India when they're the one that fought. Because Islamists can't even do nothing on their own. A, every social media group, it's nothing owned by Islamists. The very people that you hate the Jews, a lot of Jewish owners. Oh, I bet you don't like that, right? But what is your identity, the freedom that you want? When you're pushing the Hindus away, I can't think of any worse genocidal way. And the world is, is ignoring this. Well, you running around with this free, 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 free Palestine. Palestine originally is gone. They're nothing but just nominal Arabs. Just doing what the Quran and Hadith says to wipe out the Jews. Then the Christians, then everyone else. Yes, you all, you hippie people. That just trying to support them. You know their book says they can lie to get what they want. They don't care about you. Once they, if they accomplish the goal to get what they want, then they'll approach you. You better convert or pay the jizya or prepare to be unalive and take your women as my sex slaves. Yeah, all that good stuff will happen. Just on Thursday, on August 8th, a mob of madrasa students that's where all these crazy fanatics are. Let me share a little story about these Madrasa and Bangladesh. First time I went there. Well, the second time when I went there in 95. Because, you know, my parents thought I was being too Americanized for them. Sent me there for a year. And they act like, oh, these Muslim guys, Muslim boys are such a good students over there. Some of the most perverted people I ever met. And they want to say, I'm being bad. So I'm being too Americanized for them. The same perverted Madrasa student, oh, you think if I come to America, uh, I could get me a white girl? I don't want your little funky self. But your body odor smells like Muhammad from the Hadith. A mob of Madrasa students changed the name of the father of the nation from Bongabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman to Prophet Ibrahim. Even Ibrahim wouldn't care about you Muslims. Because there's nothing that intertwines with you guys. You want to make yourself part of the Abrahamic faith. You're not. You are more pagans in your own nature than you think. Than what you think you know. All these moon crescent. Yeah, look at some of these historical artifacts of these um, pagan worship. Having these moon entities. That was your Allah. What was Muhammad's father name before Islam form? Abdullah. Slave of God, their pagan gods. As per reports, they vandalized the nameplate of the Dhaka Banga Expressway, which was constructed in 2020. It was the first expressway in Bangladesh and named at, after the father of the nation. Look at these dirtbag madrasa students, bunch of stanky little scumbags. Couldn't probably not engineer a damn thing. 
That is what they like to do, steal the resources that they can't build. You know, that's why it, it frustrates me. You want to make Bangladesh align, make it the same as Palestine. I see some of these Bengali Muslims trying to make it the same as with Palestinians. Sorry, it doesn't go like that. It's nothing but what your Quran and your Hadith says. And sadly, half of my people are clueless in what the Quran and Hadith says. So let that be an awakening for you as to why the world is going through the problem, why the world doesn't can't stand this Islamic ideology. I'm sorry, some of you are in the in the middle. If you're one of those good people, because I know there are, because I know I came from out of there, I was somewhere in the middle trying to defend Islam, but yet again, it's like I enjoy this lifestyle. The more you read into the Quran and the Hadith and use the brain that God has given you, it's all in you, in your intellect. You can't escape from it. And you'll see how deeply bad this religion is. It's a cult. It's Satan. It is straight up from Satan, from the pit of hell. And now you want to destroy the nation again after what has been, for I've been here, has been doing pretty good. I mean, I've been seeing the currency exchange rate. I mean, my gosh, Bangladesh currency looking way better than Pakistan. Pakistan's currency rate, what? A one US dollar is almost close to 300 rupees. That's pretty bad. Is that where you want to end up? How you dirtbag Islamist? What else we got? After having attacked and killed police officials with impunity under the pretext of anti-government protests, Islamists are now providing security to police officials. Yeah. Make way for Sharia. According to a report, Bartaman Jamaat Islami is eyeing to divide the northeastern part of India. Since August 5th, there has been a flood of anti-India posts on social media from Bangladesh and Pakistan. One thing is clear to the Indian intelligence through the Jamaat, the Pakistan spy agency and their service intelligence has made a new target of Northeast India or the Seven Sisters, as stated. The proposed ba Banglastan, hell no, includes the whole Bangladesh, West Bengal, a large part of Jharkhand, uh, Kishanganj and Bihar, Katihar, Japa and Nepal, Rakhine and Arakan, regions of Myanmar, parts of Andaman and parts of Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram, and Manipur in northeastern India, if further added. On 8 August, Hafizati Islami leader AFM Khalid Hussein was sworn in as a member of the caretaker government, son of a gun, which is led by U.S. asset Muhammad Yunus. I'm really getting fed up with this. I, I, I'm really am. Um, OP India has documented cases of atrocities against Hindus in Bangladesh by the Islamists masquerading as pro-democracy, anti-quota, and anti-government. I knew a lot of this stuff didn't make sense, man. Now, I, I know that there's some Islamists that probably that's like secular or in the middle. Some do want it. But this is where I want my people to understand. When are we going to wake up and see what Islam truly represents? Because we live a lot of our lifestyle as who we are as a Bengal in nature, and it doesn't align with Islamic ideology. Why would you want to follow an ideology? Let me just remove this out of there. Why would you want to follow an ideology when the invaders came to slaughter our people? I'm pretty sure maybe some of your great great grandmothers, excuse me, in fact, just had an ice cream. Your great, 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 great grandmothers, I'm pretty sure they're taken as sex slaves, graped, and here we are. Some of us got probably got mixed blood with some of these dirt bags. But no matter what, who we are, they tortured us even when Pakistan came, the Islamists. I always trying to differentiate that. I know I've talked to some. Um, shoot, I remember going for my blood drawn. I, there was a, a elderly Pakistani lady. Uh, I'm sure she saw my last name and assumed I was from there by 12 the Bangladeshi background. 
even she felt bad. She was telling the stories how they didn't like what the government did. You know, I know there's a lot of regular folks that have sentiment for it. Politics is a dangerous thing. It affects many of the nominal people that get stuck in the middle of it. But this is the part where we have to be awakened. Uh, we have to be smart about it. We have to go to the root cause where it comes from. If this doesn't get you awakened as to why the world views, you know, Islam being the problem, and they have the right to think about that, as we see a lot of these causes are coming from them. See, I understand there may be people that say they things they're doing the name of religion. I'm pretty sure there are some people that say they're Christian, there's some things that goes against the scripture. Because that's where it comes down to. Do the things that they do align with the scripture? Of course, we have the right to defend. That's a must. That's why in our Bible, it talks about God gave governments. We are made in the image of God. So just like God is a law of order, how we should handle things, only in the sense of defense. Because the scripture one thing says, if you can't be at peace with all men, I can't force you. you know, I, I want people to know Christ, but I can't force you to it. But they will know how the lifestyle lets you live. Something will draw them near. God will do the rest of it. We don't make it. We don't force it. That's your problem with the Islamist. Everything is a competition to you. Everything is a number game for you. I'm the fastest growing religion. You think God cares about that? You know how many people were saved when the first time God destroyed the world? Only seven people, just Noah and the family. And you really think that God is impressed with Islam being the fastest growing religion? No. You know, it, 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 it saddens me to see my people behaving like that. But you know what? I don't. We know the specifics who, but I'm glad to see many of the Hindus and other minorities, the Christians, Buddhists, standing up, protesting. It makes me happy to see that protesting in Canada, in the States, because now the world needs to see the balance. You're so caught up in this freaking Hamas thing. The media ignores Nigeria, Pakistan, other places, now Bangladesh. Indeed, Hindus suffer the most in that side of the world. Just because you don't like a religion, just because you disagree with them or how they worship, you don't go around acting like an immature little brat, breaking statues and all that. What my Bible teaches is to pray for those. Even if they don't understand, God will deal with it. Because now is it comes to the point what Christ came for. He did the ultimate for us, the laws in our heart. We question, we talk, we conversate. And if they don't accept, that's fine. We move on. That's what the Lord commands. Just make disciples, not force around making new religions, not a number game. It's your lifestyle. They'll see you by your fruits, as the Bible says. You know, I had many good Hindu, many good Hindu friends. Despite what they believe about, you know what? At the end of the day, God has the final say on the day of judgment. But you just keep living your life, keep being a neighbor, and that's the part where many Islamists fail. You get so caught up there, you have to control this level of fear that Islam has taught because it is a demonic spirit. Everything is a controlling them. It's a control mechanism. Because if you don't do what Allah is telling you, mate, what's going to happen to me? We already know what it says, what the book says. Got to do something. If they try to convert one of your kids. Oh, that's it. You're going to hell. Is that where you want to be at Bangladesh? I hope not. It's gone too long. If they can't handle it, this is where I think India has the right to do what they have to do. Get that land back. Get rid of these Islamists. I think this is why many of the world don't like what Israel is doing because they're standing up. Excuse me. For their land. 
I mean, think about it. All you lefties, apartheid, does that make sense? Can you just take a moment, lefties? Just stare at the just stare at the map. Look look at the Islamic map and look at Israel. I mean, really, apartheid? Why are you so scared to call them out, lefties? Huh? Are you that much of a B E B I T C H? You can't call them out? What, you're afraid of a backlash? Who cares? Let them cry. Eventually, their whininess like a child will make them think about it, make them search in their books. But no, you want to come with your little bubble-headed mind, people will coexist. Sorry, in the real world, it, it, it's not. If you don't see history repeat itself, the obvious something is wrong with you. People like you don't deserve to vote because you're too high on your emotions. I see a lot of these arguments on TikTok. What's the policy? Trump is, is a bad choice. Look, there's more to it besides his policies. Who you are as a person, how you view people, it, it, it makes up everything for it. So that's what people see. Because your behavior shows of your bad pattern, the lefties destroying towns and cities with these protests, siding with these Islamists, knowing that they're using you for, for their own gain, and then they'll betray you right away. And I'm telling you this from experience, knowing that what the teaching says. So like and share, everyone. Show you one more time. There it is. Uh, in Bangladesh. More attacks by these jihadis, Jamaati Islami party from these madrasas. Those specific Bengali Muslims with the bad body odor. That's right. Like, share, subscribe. Never back down, brothers and sisters. Keep holding on. Keep preaching the truth and never stop. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys soon and God bless.